likely just to be on the other side of this fence. I would see bands riding their bikes to their buses on Warped Tour and I'd be like, oh, I want to be that. Or I'd see bands on the cover of Alternative Press and I wanted to be that. So um, while it's not making it so much as there's steps in your career, the watershed moments for me were when I was able to look at the things that I desperately wanted as a 10 year old, 11 year old, 12 year old and go like, oh shit, that really happened. Um, so it's been incremental and every year that I get to do something new, like fuck, I have, was in a movie this year. Like that's a cool new thing. So I, I look at it as every new thing I get to do is kind of a new moment and an opportunity to acknowledge the cool stuff that I've gotten to do. Hi, Andy. Hello. Um, my name is Brianna. Um, to be honest, I don't have a question. I just want to say that I've been a fan of you ever since Knives and Pens. Thank you very much. You and the rest of Black Hole Brides have just helped me so much in life. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate that. I like I like the hand raise and then like the defer. Well, the has been waiting. Okay, that's very polite. I appreciate it. Hello. Hello. Um, I have a question about um, how do you deal with social anxiety? How do I deal with social anxiety? Uh, I dress up in, in crazy clothes and go out on stage and make a, a monster of myself for 30 minutes a day. Uh, you know, um, the truth is, I don't know that I... If you invited me to a party, I would say, oh, that sounds great, and then I wouldn't be there. So, that's, I mean, that's usually... I wish that I could give you an answer. I mean, I wrote We Don't Have to Dance literally just about those feelings. Um, I'm not good at it, which isn't great for a guy like in a rock band, right? I sh and and the, the bad way I dealt with it was I used to get really drunk and force myself into social situations and it wasn't good for me. And the truth is, there's no amount of drinking or anything like that that's going to make me better at talking to people. I have to accept the fact that I'm kind of weird and I like to sit at home <laughs> and not go out. Uh, and so as I've gotten older, I've just come to realize that for me, just accepting who you are is fine. Everybody doesn't need to fucking be talking to everybody all the time. We don't. If we're on an elevator, we can all be silent. That's fine. You don't need to say things to other people. If you want to reach out and touch somebody with your voice and emotionally and say, hey, how are you doing today? Uh, that's completely fine. But if you want to just be silent and deal with your own shit and have your own thoughts, that's okay too. To me, it's probably not the best advice to say, hey, be quiet all the time. But uh, for me, I have found that the acceptance that I'm not great in social situations is kind of all right. And people might think I'm an asshole because I don't hang out a lot, but I just kind of like to think my thoughts and hang out with my wife and play video games with him in the bus or just be chill. You know, that's kind of my thing. Uh, I, I, real quick though, because of the defer, I have to give her a question because of how polite that was. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I'm loud enough, can you hear me? I can't, but we want to, just for the ceremoniousness of the microphone. <laughs> okay, alright. We have to make sure that everyone holds the microphone. Alright, well then I have the microphone. Excellent. Um, so in lieu of Warp Tour ending, I wanted to ask, what is your absolute favorite Warp Tour memory? Wow. Um... It'd be hard to be meeting my wife, you know what I mean, like, on an emotional level. Um, and then obviously the first one that I ever went to as a, as a, as a fan going to the show. Um, you know, it's really hard to qualify my favorite Warped Tour memory. I can tell you a feeling that I'll never get to have again uh, because it's ending and that'll always stay with me. It's more of an emotion than a memory. Um, at night, when everything is kind of quiet and they're breaking down the stages and everything is empty and it's just piles of trash and people breaking down tents. Um, I have, for almost my entire adult life, gotten on my bike and rode around the festival just quietly uh, and thought about how lucky I was to be here. So, uh, for me, to never get to have that again will be something that I miss a great deal. Ladies and gentlemen, just stay put. Give me one second.
And then what we're gonna do, like we talked before class, I want everybody to come right out here between these two fans.